Okay, for this video, we are doing the Roll With It lab. Um, we're going to be calculating momentum of a golf ball and a marble. So you will have a golf ball, a marble, a ruler, two rulers perhaps, and tape, and two cups. Um, what you'll do is we'll be rolling a, a golf ball and a marble down a ramp from different heights and comparing the distances they push a cup. Uh, the overall goal of this activity is for you to create a graph from the data that you've collected and come up with explanations for outcomes and results. Um, first, we're gonna create a ramp. So you have one cup here, you're going to place a ruler on it and make sure the one inch is on the side where you're setting up your ramp and make sure that your cup is um, placed in the same position, position each time with the one inch right here on the edge of your cup. And then you have yourself a ramp. You need to um, create then a little starting point that you're gonna be measuring from. So you put tape down right here and you're going to be measuring from the starting point, this side of the tape that's closest to your ruler. And then you'll set the other cup on the other end. So your ramp looks like this. Does everybody see that? Okay. So using a marble first, we're going to release the marble from different heights on the ruler. Uh, the first height is five centimeters. So you need to find five centimeters right there, release the marble and see how it pushed the cup. Then you will um, measure. So you need to measure in centimeters from the starting point, from the starting point right here to where the cup moved. So go ahead and measure that in centimeters. Um, it might be better if you do it this way and can see it better. And so that's about two and a half centimeters that it moved. So put that down in your table right here under the five centimeters. That's what we dropped the marble from. And we write two and a half. And then we do it again. So we need to set up again. So set up our ramp, the one inch mark again, exactly like we did before and make sure that we do it right up where the tape is. So we have to move it up to where the tape is. Now place our cup back to where the starting point is. Good, and this time we're gonna do, well, you're gonna do five, centi five centimeters uh, two more times and get an average. Um, and then you're gonna do drop from seven centimeters and then all the way, yes, so you see how it pushed it a little bit further at seven centimeters. Um, now go ahead and measure. Okay, so what's the measurement there? Four centimeters? Mm -hmm. So four centimeters on the seven right here. But make sure you do um, the different trials under the five centimeters before you move on to seven. We're just demonstrating. And you're gonna do this all the way up to 20 centimeters using the marble. And then after you do that, you're going to use the golf ball. So let's do five centimeters with the golf ball. Wait, so let's see how we're set up again with our tape right here um, at the edge of our ruler, our starting point. So five centimeters with the golf ball. And can you release? Okay, now we're going to measure then from there, from your starting point to, yep. So that's what, four, we'll say four, four and, and a half. half. Yeah, about four and a half centimeters that you would put them right here under the golf ball. Um, you would do those over three trials, get an average, and then um, do that all the way to the 20 centimeters. Um, the third graph down here, you're just writing your averages that you got for the, the marble and the golf balls at the different heights and then you're going to um, identify the independent variable, the dependent variable in this experiment. Um, you will need to graph. Um, there are some questions here as well. So that's pretty much the gist of what you'll be doing in this lab. Um, I think that's it. Thanks. Thank you. Hi.